Yeah. 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 Lord, God, thank you for the opportunity to be in your house. Lord, God, thank you for the trust of service. Lord, God, thank you for the Lord, for the privilege of all you. That you take what you know you see fit. Lord, God, just bless the gift and give your life. Thank God, thank you for the trust of you.
enjoy that good singing, say amen. Well, this is just this for Super Church. Good luck, Brother Stephen. We'll be praying for you. And Miss Kate and everybody else. You want to do that? Make sure that I fed my kids lots of coke before. <laughs> I got candy. <laughs> and I've got melatonin, so we're good. <laughs> Amen. Luke chapter number five. Amen. Luke chapter number five. We'll try to give you what the Lord's given us. I was looking at a, a completely different thought in the book of James last night. I will. It's not coming, so we're just gonna keep reading and see if the Lord will give us something else as we read through. And got the book to the book of Peter. First Peter, I should say, and uh, the Lord said to go to Luke chapter number five. I said, "Yes, sir." And so, what, what uh, you will hear tonight will be what the Lord gave me last night. So, uh, Luke chapter number five. We're going to begin reading in verse number one. Luke chapter number five, in verse number one. The Bible says, "And it came to pass that as the people pressed it upon him to hear." The word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed to him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, We've toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes in their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down on, at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drop of fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said, said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Let's pray. Dear and Father, I want to thank you for being kind to us. Lord, thank you for mercy, grace, and long suffering towards your Father God. Lord, I want to thank you for another opportunity again to be in your house this evening, dear Father God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would, uh, Lord, that you would uh, speak to hearts tonight, dear Father God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you uh, you would bless uh, a super church this, this evening. Lord, I pray that you help Brother Stephen as Kate. Lord, I pray that you as as they as they try to teach those uh, those the, the kids. Lord, I pray that you use them. Lord, that you bless their labor, dear Father God. Lord, that you uh, help them to impart truth to, to the to, to the children, dear Father God. Lord, I pray. Tonight, dear Father, that you would uh, you would speak to our hearts, dear, dear Lord. I pray, Lord, that you'd hide us behind the cross, Lord, that you'd uh, speak to our hearts, dear Father, Lord, that you would uh, uh, give us the words to say tonight, dear Father God, Lord, that you'd allow us to say everything that you'd have us to say, Lord, that you'd keep us from saying anything that you wouldn't have us to say tonight, dear Father. And Lord, I pray that you would use this for relative to preaching, dear Father God, to, to, to be a blessing to you, dear Father God, most importantly. But Lord, I pray that it would be a blessing to the, to the listener tonight, dear Father God. Lord, that you would have helped them, dear Father God, uh, 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 with their walk, with their walk, with, uh, their Christian walk tonight, dear Father. Lord, we surely love you. Lord, we thank you for being so kind to us. Lord, Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Amen. This evening, I would like to uh, to draw your attention to the fishermen that were not in, uh, on their ship, but were out washing their nets. You realize this evening that uh, in, in the text that we we, we read. Uh, Jesus was going uh, to, he was looking uh, for some people to, to be able to, to push out on the ships. Obviously, when he, he in verse number two, he, we see that the, he saw the, the two ships standing by the lake, and the fishermen were not in the ship. They were somewhere else washing their nets. And uh, many times, and, and, and it's not necessarily that they were doing wrong, they were actually doing their job. They were doing the thing that they needed to be doing uh, in order to, be, to, to maintain. The equipment that they were that they that they used to do their job. 
So they weren't uh, out of the way by, and by any means, but they were doing the thing that a good fisherman would, would, should be doing, preparing the gear for the journey ahead. I do not believe that they were doing anything out of the way, but, but, and we know this because the Bible clearly states that they were washing their nets. They were preparing for, for tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's trip. They were, they were preparing uh, uh, to, to be able to go out and, 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 and catch some more fish, and they realized that by, by if they were going to do the, the job at hand, that their, their equipment was going to have to be in tip-top shape. And many times, uh, many times that, that, that's, that, 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 that is what's required uh, when, whenever, uh, whenever we do anything uh, in, in life. And you think about this, you think about the, the race car driver. They spend hours and hours and hours and hours so that they can go, uh, they can go out and, and they can run around the track for for just a little while. But they've spent they they will spend uh, uh, hundreds of hours uh, every single week to make sure that, that their vehicle is is in tip top shape so that they can go run that vehicle for just a short period of time. And uh, and they, and they will go and we will they, and uh, 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 aircraft mechanics will do the same thing. They will spend hours and hours and hours. My father. He makes an he makes an absolute killing working on planes uh, every single day and, and, and makes a ton of money doing it just for that airplane to get it to, 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 to work for uh, for a, a, a few short hours every single day and uh, but but uh, it, it, uh, but preparing and going and make, and maintaining the equipment is necessary in order for 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 it to be used properly just the same as, as for the child of God we uh, without reading our Bibles without praying and 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 going and maintaining the equipment, the equipment that we have, uh, we, we will eventually become ineffective for the glory and honor of God. You, right. we, we can't, we don't grow if we're not, if we're not continually going and, and, and washing and washing our our nets. Uh, 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 and we're we we we're, we're not able to to continue to be a blessing and be a help and be a, a, a be a, 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 an example to somebody to a lost and dying world if we are not uh, we are not preparing ourselves. Each and every day to be able to go out and be used for the glory and honor of God, and so we find that these 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 these, these fishermen they were doing the exact thing that they that, that they were supposed to be doing uh, 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 for their job. It is not a question of them doing wrong; it is a question of of, of being where they sh where where the, where they should have been. The child of God um, uh, many times. Uh, uh, let me let me back up and say this. We, we, in verse number two, it says, "It, it, it, it says that the, the Lord was uh, was uh, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, and he said, and so he seen he, he looked and, and saw these uh, two specific ships, and, and, and but he noticed uh, upon further inspection of these two specific ships that the men that worked those ships were not where they, they where they, they where they, where they should have been." And we, and many times the child of God, uh, I believe, miss out on the best things that God has for them because they are not, uh, they, they are not out doing wrong. I believe many times they are, they, they are doing right and laboring for the journey ahead. But I believe that they are just not where the Lord wanted them to be at a certain time. Many times we, many times, uh, as an example, uh, missing, a, uh, missing a service that you were planning on coming, and then the devil put something in, 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 in the way as a roadblock that had caused you not to make it to the service. And when you, you you talk to others that, that were at that, that church that night, they tell you about how good the service was and that the yeah. Lord met with them and how, how the Lord uh, spoke to their hearts and did something great for them and they left better for, uh, for, for being at service that night. Yeah. And, and, and how good, or maybe how, how good the preacher preached, and what a blessing it was that he, he what he, what the, what the preacher said, and, and how it helped them, and how it bettered them for the, the for the journey ahead, for the next few days uh, until until the next service, and and we we well, then we and you sit there, and uh, they're thinking, you sit there thinking, I knew I should have been there, but this thing, uh, this, 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 but this thing that, that it caused me not to be uh, not to make it. To where I to where I belong, where the Lord wanted me to be, uh, and this, this evening I want to try to preach on this thought: missing out on the catch of a lifetime. Many times we 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 uh, we miss opportunities. We miss uh, we miss opportunities because simply we're just not where we should have been when we know the Lord uh, yeah. Lord wanted us in a certain, spot, a, a certain spot, and we just missed out on being where we should have been Amen. when we should have been there, right. and. Uh, uh, again, I want to try to preach on that thought, uh, 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 missing out on the catch of a lifetime. 
you realize that 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 I realize. I, let me let me back up and say this. I realize that uh, that that it was the will of God that that Jesus dealt with Simon Peter and James and John. I understand that hundred percent. I'm not I'm not side skirting the side. I don't want to say say that it was a, by happenstance, but I, I but I do want I would I do want to I do want you to notice that that when he when he looked when he looked out he saw those two ships. And when he saw those two ships, he saw the men not, not where they should have been. And But I want you to notice this, this evening. Uh, uh, number one, I want you to notice. I want you to notice the word that was missed. When he when those fishermen weren't in, weren't in, the, in, the, in their ship, you realize that they missed out on an opportunity to hear, the, uh, to hear Jesus preach. We, we, the, the Jesus... Uh, uh, Talk and then and then so he told Simon. Not only did he, did he go out and pre, and, or did he go out, sit down, and he taught the people, but he went in and, and then he, he turned after after he uh, after Simon Peter. He he sat and he listened to the, to, the, to Jesus uh, uh, teach uh, the word of God, no doubt, and he he taught the people. And he he, he then he turned to tur turned to Simon Peter and he and, and he said and he said uh, to go out and carry his net and, and, and cast his net for a drop. You see, there was a possibility that if those other fishermen would have been there, they would have gotten to hear the Lord teach and then would have been told to go out and, and cast their nets for another drop. They wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been uh, Simon Peter, but it would have been those men that would have got to go out and experience, uh, not, not only experience, but they would have got to hear Jesus preach and they would have got to experience what Simon Peter experienced. You realize that that many times as a child of God, it's not it's it, it, it's not enough just to just to to, to do and, and to be a 90 percent or ninety five percent to be to be where the where you're supposed to, where the to be in the will of God uh, at, at a specific at a time. You realize that 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 if we were to if, if our car was the only start at ninety percent of the time or ninety five percent of the time at every at, at every fourth crank you you start your car started to crank. Many, I remember old trucks. Old trucks are, are terrible about the Bendix going out in the starter. You ever you'll sit in a, in, in a parking lot and you'll suddenly hear somebody crank the car over and then all of a sudden you hear eh, because the Bendix on the starter is not going out like it's supposed to. Right. And so you know that you know what you hear them do? Eh, 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 and then all of a sudden it'll catch and it'll start turning over. And 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 and, and what happens is I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> you go, you get you sit there, all of a sudden you turn the key and he goes, eh. and then you know what everybody does? Yep. They look right at you and you're like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> because, because you realize that it's it's unfaithful. So you know what you do? You get on Rock Auto and you order the new starter, and you go take the time and you put the new starter in so that you don't have to experience that thing. You know why? Because it's 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 it's, it's unfaithful to where it, to do the, the job that needed to be done at the time that it needed to be done. Right. You don't use a starter all the time when you're when you're in your vehicle. You only use a starter at a specific time when it's needed. Right. And many times the child of God is the exact same the exact same way. I'll be honest with you. I don't get to walk to every single person in Walmart and witness to every single one of them. You know why? Because the Lord doesn't uh, doesn't uh, doesn't lead me to go stop at everybody and say, "Hey, I'm Aaron Mosbaugh from Landmark Baptist Church. You need to be saved, or do you go to church anywhere, or what, what, whatever the whatever the, or do you know Jesus, whatever whatever it is that I say." But I don't. I, but as the Lord leads and the, the Lord allows me to be in certain spots at certain times, I'll go up to somebody and say, "Hey, you know, uh, uh, my name is you know Aaron." I go through the whole spiel and, you, and say and say all the things. And, and because the Lord spoke my heart and said to go do it, right. but it, but it's a specific time, uh, and, and the Lord allows me to do it at, at a certain time when it's when it's, uh, it's especially needed. I remember there was one time where we went. Uh, I, my, so my, let me let me say this: my one of my favorite restaurants, not not one of my favorite restaurants. My favorite restaurant in Bluffton is Hook and Reel is over by Target. It is my favorite place to go whenever we go out to eat. If we if I have the money. And, and, and anybody was so inclined to go every single time we went out to eat, then I would go every single time when we go out to eat. They've got a great deal. It's seafood, and, and you eat out of a trash bag. It's amazing. It's, it's, just, it's the best thing ever. And I and we've been uh, 50 times probably. It's a, it, I love it. it I, I love going there. And, and one night, it was after, after Sunday night, 
And, uh, and I told preacher, I said, let's go to Hook and Rail. Preacher said, nope, we ain't going to Hook and Rail. I said, preacher, we're going to Hook and Rail. He said, no, we ain't. I said, yeah, we are. And we, and we, uh, we, me and him, I argued with him about Hook and Rail. And, and he finally, the, the Lord allowed him to see it my way. And so we ended up with Hook and Rail. And for whatever reason that night, we, we, we pulled into Hook and Rail. And we, we sat down. And, and, and I, I, I don't know why in the world it happened. And, and you've heard the story before. But, uh, uh, but we walked in and we sat down. And, uh, and, and you could tell that our waitress was not having a good night that night. You could just tell she was off. You could tell there was something bothering her. And uh, and so when we whenever she was she we were getting ready to pray and she walked up so that right before we prayed to eat our so they could eat their biscuits and uh, I and she walked up to take our order and preacher said hold on man we're getting ready to pray is there anything that you need prayer for and she said as a matter of fact yes and she told us a prayer request and and preacher cut down praying we began to pray you know what that was being in a specific time uh, place at a specific time you know why it, it, it we could have went somewhere else. But it was the will of God that we were there at a specific time in a, sp a specific place. Right. And in this, this evening, uh, many times we miss out on the blessing of God's words uh, speaking to us because we're not exactly where the Lord wants us to be, either physically or spiritually. I'll be honest with you. Uh, there have been many times that I've walked in the back of those back doors and, and I'm here because I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. But my, my heart and my mind is somewhere completely different. You know why? Spiritually, I ain't where I'm supposed to be. Right. I've got a thousand things going on. Uh, running, running, dealing with a family, dealing with work, it's that, that never stops. I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of things that go on, and, 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 and my, mind, my mind just doesn't stop. And so many times I walk, there, there, not many times, I shouldn't say many times, but a lot of, there are, are a lot of times that I have to walk in the back door and sit down in my pew and, and bow my head and say, Lord, I'm here now. I need you to shut everything else off in my life and, and allow me to focus on you for just a little while. Right. And, 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 and many times, that there, but there have been many times that I've sat down and didn't do that. And I was, I was here physically. We got up and we sang. We got in and we say amen and we do all the things and we listen to the preacher preach. But I'll be honest with you, my heart was not in it. Right. And, 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 just be, and, you know, and you know what happened? The Lord might have showed up. The Lord could have spoken my heart and done something great in my heart and encouraged me and, and allowed me to, to move forward in, in, my, in my Christian walk and show me some things about myself and show me some things about where He's taking me or what He wants me to do with my life. But because my heart wasn't in, wasn't in tune, my heart wasn't where it should have been, I missed out. Right. And how many times have we, have, we, have, we, have, have we ourselves done the exact same thing? Maybe it wasn't here at the church, but maybe it was, uh, maybe it was at the house and the Lord said, I, I want you to go pray. He said, all right, Lord, let me finish this TV show. <laughs> or, Lord, I'm working on this. Lord, I'm, or, I'm, I'm, Lord, I'm vacuuming. Or, Lord, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get this, this, this project done so my wife will leave me alone or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but, uh, Lord, I, I, Lord, I, I, and Lord, and Lord, let me just get this done and I promise <laughs> I'll, I'll go pray. I'll go read my Bible. And how many times, I, I was telling preacher the other night, I said many times, I said, I will, get, I will be sit down to, to read my Bible, and it seems like it's more work than I've already worked all day long sometimes. Yeah. And it's just because the Lord said, hey, go do this. And I said, Lord, let me finish what I'm, what I'm doing, and then I'll do the thing that you want me to do. Yeah. And, and many times we miss out on the Lord, the, Lord, the, word, of the word of God simply because we're just not where we're supposed to be yeah. right here in our hearts. Yeah. And uh, so we find that the, the, these men, they missed, they missed out on the Word of God. But I want you to notice, uh, I want you to notice number two, I want you to notice the, the work that was missed. Talking about a catch of a lifetime, when the, word is, the, when the Word is missed, the work is missed in our text. You know, you know who got the opportunity? The fishermen that was in their spot when Jesus came by. All too many times we miss out on an opportunity because we miss out on the Word of God. Right. How many times has the Lord dealt with our heart about doing something when, when, when we reach our destination just to get drawn away by some unfortunate event that keeps us from getting to our location? Say, so I, I, I remember uh, many times, I, I remember I used, to, I used to live in the camper next door to the church. I spent the, the, the first several years of, uh, of my Christian life uh, whenever I got in the Marine Corps 
in that camper right over the, right next to the church. And and, uh, and 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 I'll be honest with you, I loved it. It was perfect. It was perfect for for somebody to live there by themselves. And I'm, I'll be honest with you, the only time I was really there was asleep. Because I, I can't cook, so Taco Bell was my was my go-to, and uh, and so and so I, I many times I, I didn't even have trash most of the time because I threw the trash away at Taco Bell on the way home, and so I literally spent most of the time this this um, all my time that was spent in the, in the camper, I was reading my Bible, praying and studying, trying to find some out uh, some find, uh, find find out what the Lord wanted me to preach, and sleeping and taking you know obviously all all that goes along with living. And uh, and at the time we were we were going to the boys' home. Brother Curtis used to go out with me every every Tuesday night. We'd go out there. We'd, we'd speed home from work in the evenings, and then and, and then and then we'd have to, to to change clothes really quick and speed out to speed out to uh to uh to to I don't even know where we were going. We went anymore, but it was it was out it was out Grand Seabrook yeah. Seabrook out, out that way. It's about forty five minutes from here, and uh, we'd speed out there. And uh, many and many times, I, I, by, by the time Tuesday night rolled around, I knew what I was preaching. I, I, I'll be honest with you, out there preaching was easy. I could have preached anything. I could I could have I could have preached on tithing. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I cut my teeth on preaching out of the boys' home. Yeah. Some of the worst things I ever the worst things I ever preached, some of the best things I ever preached was out there in the boys' home. We had no music yeah. because me and Curtis can't carry a tune in the bucket, right. and we and, and we and, and we didn't we didn't have much preaching because I wasn't very good at it, and I still ain't. But I learned how to how to, how to I learned how to study. I learned how to, I learned how to, to 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 pray. I learned how to read my Bible. I learned how to 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 form to put to put outlines together. I learned all those things. By going out there, and many times I knew exactly what I was preaching. I before I before we went to work on Tuesday morning, I knew what I was preaching. Right. We'd get in and we we take off, and me and me and Curtis we'd go out there and we'd have a ball. Uh, those those kids they had no idea they get out there and sing. They had no shame because they why why would they? Yeah. And when they'd sing, we me and him would sing and off tune most of the time, yeah. and uh, we'd have us a big time. And uh, but uh, I remember, I remember we'd go out there, and I knew that I would have, I would have, uh, I would have messages some nights, and I knew that I was going to help somebody. Maybe one of those boys would get saved, and I knew it. And then we'd be, at, we'd get about halfway out there, and and, and 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 the man that ran the thing, he would call me and say, he would say, he said, he said, Aaron, he said, we can't have you tonight. We went on lockdown because somebody did something. They got in a fight or something like that. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, it, it it made me miss out on the opportunity to be able to be a help to be a help and a blessing to somebody else. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know I, I don't know why, but the Lord it, it just worked it out where I didn't make didn't get out didn't get to be where 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 I should have been when I should have been there. Right. And you'll find that those those fishermen when they weren't out or when they weren't in the in the ship, you know what they did? They missed out not only on the word of, of, of from, from God, but they missed out on the work because. As soon as they, as soon as they got the word, Simon Peter went out and he said, "Look, Lord, I've already done this. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've ever been out here and ever done this, but Lord, I, 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 we've already, we've already toiled all night and we didn't catch anything. Yeah. But because you said so, I'm gonna go out there and do it." Amen. And he went out there and, and he and he went and and and, and, the, and the Bible says that they 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 begged them their partners, which were in the other ship, that they would should come and help them. Because it had filled both ships, so that, so that they began to sink. We 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 find that he missed out on working many times. If you're not where you're supposed to be, maybe physically, if you're not where you're supposed to be spiritually, not only do you miss out on the word of God, but you miss out on the work of God. Amen. You miss out on the opportunity to be able for the Lord to, to speak to your heart, so that you might be able to do something for the Lord. I mean, there there have been. I, I often wonder how many times. That I've squandered an opportunity to tell somebody else about the Lord, right. just because I wasn't where I was supposed to be yeah. spiritually. Yeah. Maybe I was, I, maybe I was exactly where I, I should have been physically, but I wasn't where I was supposed to be uh, spiritually. Right. How many times yeah. has the Lord dealt with us about when the preacher just gets done preaching on, on somebody needing to be saved, and the Lord says you need to go to the altar, and you said, Lord, I am saved, right. <laughs> and you sit in your pew and you say, Lord, I, I, I ain't going. People are gonna think I need to be saved, yeah. right. and he said, and, and, and not, and not, we don't even sometimes even consider that maybe if we should, if we take a step and we go pray for sinners or pray for whatever the Lord's got going on in our lives, yeah. that the, whoever is that does need to be saved, so they say, oh, 
Well, somebody else went. I can go. Yeah. You know, the, I, I've said this before, but you know, the, 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 there's been many times people have more confidence when there's other well, others around. They say it like this: there's confidence in numbers, there's power in numbers. Yeah. And people they 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 get real bold when somebody else is is doing the same thing. Right. Yeah. And many times a sinner will get bo- a lot more bolder. They see somebody go to the altar because maybe they're going to pray for somebody else. Right. Maybe it's not, maybe they got something going on in their lives that has nothing to do with salvation, but they don't know that. Right. And, many, and, 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 and we might miss out on the opportunity to, be, to, to, to call somebody and say, you know what, if they can go, I can go. Yeah. And how many times have we miss out on being able to witness to somebody just because, say, so Lord, I can't, I can't witness to them. I don't know any scripture, Lord. I don't. I, I don't have. I don't have Romans three twenty three memorized, or six twenty three, or Romans ten or nine ten and eleven. I don't have all those things. I don't have all those uh, verses memorized. Amen. So, Lord, I can't. I can't do anything because I, I, I. You know, and we, we miss out on the work just because we miss out on the word. And, uh, and the Bible says, "A study does self approve the uh, a, a workman uh, that that needeth." Uh, my mind just went blank. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about something else and my mind just went blank. But uh, many times we, 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 when we miss out on the Word of God, we miss out on the work of God. But I want you to notice this, and this is, this is probably the biggest thing that, that happened in, uh, in, 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 in our text. Number three, when missing out on the catch of a lifetime, number three, I want you to notice, they missed out on the walk. That, that, that they could have had. Yeah. When we miss out on the word and we miss out on the work, eventually at some point, we're going to miss out on the walk right. that we could have had. Amen. I'll be honest with you, not only did these, these, fishermen, uh, these fishermen miss out on the word, the work, but they also missed out on the walk that Simon Peter, James, and John got to experience. You think about this. Uh, about this. These fishermen got, to put on, uh, got put on the pages of the Bible for not being on the ship. They, they, they had one verse uh, tell them about their lives. Amen. While Simon Peter, James, and John got to experience God in the flesh, they got to see the miracles He performed, uh, making blinded eyes to see, the lame to walk, deaf to hear, and the dead to, to rise again. They got to experience the Spirit of God moving on them and the power of God, uh, uh, and the Spirit of God resting on them uh, uh, every single day from that moment forward. The, I, I'll be honest with you. They, I mean, they even uh, they, they they wrote part of uh, parts of our New Testament were, were pinned down by those men. Amen. The uh, a life that that they would have never in in, in, in in probably a thousand years ever even considered for themselves. They got to experience just because they were where they're supposed to be yeah. when they were supposed to be there. And many times, many times, I think that we miss out when we're not where we're supposed to be phys- or spiritually. I think we miss out on the walk that we could have. Okay. You think about I, I, I think about all those old saints of God that, that have that have went on before us, and that that uh, even the ones that that are still around that we 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 go to meetings and stuff, and we listen to them. They give testimonies, and we listen to them. We we we, we watch uh, watch them as they walk around in, in, in the fellowship hall and how they talk, and and we listen to to, to the way they 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 talk, and you think about. All the trials that they've been through, and all the burdens that they bear, and all the all but all the successes that they and the victories that they've seen in their lives, and how they they have spent their lives living for God, and they they, they they look back on their lives, and you can tell that 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 they that they love the Lord more than they had probably ever had before, oh, yeah. and they got to the, and, and the walk that they have with the Lord is, is much different than maybe the the walk that you and I, or that you or, 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 or and, and I possibly don't have. A, some some days, and uh, you think about this: how many if, if we were just where we were supposed to be with the Lord at, at at any given moment in our lives, how much sweeter the walk would be? I think about how, how I think about this uh, all the time: how 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 much how much damage have I done to my own Christian walk? Right, Amen. just because of me being stubborn yeah. and hard headed, right. right. me not being where I should be when I, when I should have been there. Spiritually, not necessarily uh, physically, but spiritually, because I didn't decide to get up and read my Bible that day, or I didn't want—I didn't want to get my prayer closet and pray that day, 
or I didn't want it. I, I, I didn't want to get up and go to the altar because the Lord, uh, <laughs> we, after the Lord told me to go to the altar, and I think about how much damage I've done to my own self, not because the Lord wanted me to, um, not wanted me to walk a different path, just because I chose not to yeah. do what the Lord asked me to do. And I think about the walk that I could have compared to the walk that I do have. And many times, and many times, it's not because the Lord didn't give us an opportunity. It's not because the Lord didn't didn't uh, speak to our hearts and and, and, and tell us to, to go and tell us to move. And many there and there are some days that maybe He did tell you to get up and read your Bible. Maybe there are some days that He didn't tell you to give up and get in your prayer closet and pray. But He's told us He's told us before. And we know. That we ought to read our Bibles. We know that we ought to, right. and if we're going to have a relationship to to go and, and, and to get in our prayer closets and pray and, and and to have a relationship because it because it takes it takes time it takes work. I, I I've been I've been so I, I decided I wanted an airplane. I know. Go ahead and laugh. But uh, <laughs> I, I I decided that I wanted an airplane uh, this morning actually, and uh, so <laughs> so. Uh, I called my dad and said, hey, Dad, what do you think? I want an airplane. And uh, my dad said, that's a terrible idea. And, uh, and, but I, but I, said, I, I told him, I said, I said, I said Dad, I said, I said, I'll be able to come see you more. I said, and, and I could go places faster. <laughs> he said, well, son, there's a lot of things that you got to consider. There's not, it's not just going to buy an airplane, yeah. get your pilot's license, and then fly the thing wherever you want to go. You know, it, it takes a lot of money for gas. And they usually burn a, a normal plane usually burns about a quarter an hour. So you got oil, and you got if you want to have one that's certified so that you can fly through storms and stuff, you got to deal with the FAA and uh, and inspections and all those things. I said, well, that's perfect. That's why I'm calling you. You've got all the licenses that can make sure it's all right. So whenever they come inspect it, that he said, son, it's a bad idea. It costs money yeah. that you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, what, what, you know, what's that got to do with anything? And I said, you know, who, 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 what, what, who, who cares if I, if I don't have the money? And uh, I'll get the money. He's like, well, then you'll sell it in a couple years like you sold your boat. You know, and I was like, okay. Many times, that's what, we, that's what we do. It's funny, but that's what we do with the Lord. We say, Lord, I want to do this thing. And the Lord says, well, what about this time? What about that time? Yeah. Where were you on this time? And we many times we get we, we we are so easily distracted and so easily caught up in something that's shiny. And then we say, Lord, I, I want to do this, or, Lord, I want to do that. And the Lord says, Well, I can't let you walk this path just yet because you're not there yet. Right. I mean, I've been telling the Lord that I want I, I, that, I, I, and don't please don't think you know I'm looking because I'm because I ain't I'm perfectly satisfied, but. I've told, the, I've told the Lord for years, Lord, I, I sure would love to be an evangelist, or I sure would love to pastor a church, and what I sure would, uh, sure would be, uh, would be grateful if you'd allow me to go and preach and be able to go and do and 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 do something for you and try to be a blessing to somebody else. And Lord, it would, it would sure, it sure would be nice. And I think, Lord, I, you know, I think with your help, we might be able to help somebody and might be able to see some folks get saved. And and I'll be honest with you, Lord ain't done it yet. Just because he hasn't done it yet doesn't mean that I say, Lord, just because you, you, you're not doing what I'm asking, so Lord, I'm just going to do what I want until you're ready. To, I'm going to do what I want until you're ready to do what I want with me. <laughs> you know, many times that you know, many times it's easy to get discouraged and say, Well, Lord, I'm I'm just going to do what I want then. Right. If you don't want to do what I want, then I'll just do what I want. Yeah. And many times we get so caught up on what we want to do that we miss the Lord and His walk. And there's many times I, I'm reminded of, of Brother Brother Gary Luther. Brother Gary Luther from Shady Acre Baptist Church, and he was he was called to preach, and he sat he, he, by his own testimony he sat on he sat on a pew, and didn't go anywhere for 17 years. Sat on a pew, preached at the church when 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 the pastor was gone, but he didn't go anywhere. And he said he prayed and he asked the Lord to, to, to allow him to preach. And Lord, he says, you know, like any preacher, Lord, you call me to preach, so let me preach. And he said the Lord just wouldn't let him. He said he let him be right where he was at and uh, and, and do what what, he, what the Lord had him doing right there and to be satisfied with it. And he said he did it for 17 years. And one day, phone rang. 
He said, by the time, by the time that day, by the time he got the phone quit ringing, he was booked like 38 weeks in, in, less, than, in less than about a, a, a few hours. And from that day to, to, to now, he's been booked solid ever since. Yeah. Amen. And many times, our walk requires us to be where we're supposed to be, even when we don't want to be where we're supposed to be spiritually. Amen. And these boys, physically, they weren't where they, where they, pop, that they should have been. Though they were doing the right thing, they weren't where they should have been. You know why? Because they were, they were so caught up in doing the thing that they knew they had to get done, that they, they ran right past the Lord. There's no doubt in my mind that the crowd, they seen the crowd. There's no doubt in my mind that they saw the crowd, but they were so caught up in doing the thing that they thought they needed to get done, that they ran right past the Lord. And there, and there sat Simon Peter, just, just, just kind of doing his thing on, on the ship, making sure that you know knots were tied and everything was in good working order. And Jesus walked uh, walked up to him and said, "Hey, I need you to push out. I'm going to teach, and then I'm going to change your life." Yeah. And many times, and, and many times, the, the 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 question is, not only where are you at physically, but also where are you at spiritually. My question. Is this, are you missing out on the catch of a lifetime? You might, you, you might be saved, but where are you at spiritually in your heart? Here's the thing about, the thing, the thing about, uh, about, the, about the heart and the will of God for your lives. is There's not a person on the planet that can tell you what the will of God for your life is. Yeah. The preacher can't tell you. The uh, singers, your mom, your dad, your grandparents... There's not a person on the planet that can tell you what the will of God for your life is. The only person that can, can tell you what the will of God for your life is, is the Lord Himself. Right. And if you're not where you're supposed to be spiritually, if your relationship isn't what it's supposed to be with the Lord, how can He tell you the will of God for your life? The, the goal for, any, for, the, for the child of God it ought to be to be a vessel that's being used for the glory and honor of God. And the only way to get that is to is to be where we're supposed to be uh, 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 spiritually. Mr. Cole, if you'll come, I'm done. My question again is, are you missing out on the catch of a lifetime? Amen. Let me ask you this. Are you as close to the Lord as, a, as the Lord would like you to be? Or let me say this. Are you as close to the Lord as you would like to be to the Lord? And more importantly, are you as close to the Lord as the Lord would like you to be to, with, to the Lord? I'll be honest with you. There have been many days that I could sit in my pew and say, nope, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Right. I know where I should be, but I ain't there. And more importantly than that is, I know that I'm not where the Lord would want me to be in my heart. There's, there's been many times. Are you doing what the Lord wants you to do? And are you where the Lord wants you to be in every facet of your life? Or are you missing out on the catch of a, of a lifetime? I would say that at some point in our lives, we miss out on the catch of a lifetime. We miss out on the blessings of God in our lives. We miss out on the walk that we could we, we could have had. How many times have we 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 miss the, the we miss the, the will of God for our lives and Next thing you know, we're going right back around on the on the on the, the roundabout, coming right back to where we started out to to, to, to do it all over again, and uh, never never able to move forward because we, we we can't ever get to the place where we can move forward. And uh, so, this, my question is, is is tonight: Are you missing out on the catch of a lifetime? Are you where you're supposed to be spiritually? We're going to stand and um, we'll pray. And maybe you're not where you're supposed to be uh, uh, spiritually. Maybe you're not uh, not where you, where the Lord would have you to be. Maybe you want to come and talk to the Lord. Maybe you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Maybe you just want to talk to the Lord and see what else He's got for you. I don't know, but tonight we're going to pray. And if you want to come, come on. Dear Father, Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray that you, that you would speak to hearts this evening. Lord, I pray that you would do something in our midst. Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you would help us tonight, dear Father God. Lord, I, I realize that it's hard to uh, examine our own lives, dear Father God, and, and, and honestly, and, and be honest with ourselves and, 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 and admit 
Maybe we aren't exactly where we should be with, with you, Lord. Maybe we're, we're as close as we want to be, dear Father God. Lord, not as close as you want us to be. Lord, maybe we're not walking the walk that, that we ought to be walking. And Lord, tonight I pray, Lord, uh, Lord I pray that you to help us to, to see that. And Lord, I pray that you to, uh, you to help us to, 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 to be better for you, dear Father God. Lord, I would love my life to be like, to, to, to be uh, uh, somewhat like, like Simon Peter's, dear Father God. I would love for my life to be somewhat like James or John, dear Father God. Lord, I, I, I want to be closer to you, dear Father. I want to see, uh, see your, your, the, the power of God in my life, dear Father God. I want to see the Holy Ghost move, not only in my life, dear Father God, but Lord, in my, my family's life, dear Father, Lord, in, in, in my friends' lives, and Lord, and, and, and especially in, 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 in my church family's life, dear Father God. Lord, I want to see... You, uh, you do something great in their lives, dear Father God. Lord, I want to see you do something special, not only in their lives, but Lord, in our church uh, as a whole. Lord, that we might uh, move forward and, and be better for you this year. And Lord, that we'd be better for you, not just this year, but for the, the, the remaining part of our lives, dear Father God. Lord, we, uh, uh, or, or, or until Jesus comes, dear Father God. Lord, I pray that you would help us to be right in our spot, doing the thing that you would have us to do, dear Father God. Lord, I pray that we would our walk would be a, a, a closer, or our, our walk would be a, a better, or our, our walk would be a, a, a sweeter, dear Father God. Uh, going forward, Lord, I, I want to be found faithful in my spot, right where you have me to be tonight, dear Father God. Lord, I don't want to miss out on the catch of a lifetime. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would help us, dear Father God, as we uh, uh, prepare to go. Lord, I pray that you keep us safe as we travel, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you would, uh, you would speak to our hearts this evening. Father God, Lord, we surely love you and thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All hearts and minds clear this evening. Let's all stand. We'll be dismissed in the word of prayer. Amen. Brother Mike, how about dismissing us? Well, I want to thank you for tonight, Lord. Uh, pray you help us, Lord God, that you can do better for you. Lord, I help us as we go this week. Lord, I give us the uh, strength for the journey. I help us, Lord God, to be a witness, Lord, and to do what you have us to do. Lord, I pray for your blessing over the air and his family. Our preacher tonight, Lord, I pray you use him. I pray you help him. And I pray for Brother Stephen, Lord God, and our little ones out there, Lord. I pray you bless that, Lord. And you give him something, Lord God, that will last for eternity. Lord, we pray for our um, help, Lord, to keep us out of sin, uh, just to do right, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.